Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, not the Kodokai Robo Dojo. Um, I'm uh, Chris Pabs. Um, it's just me today. Um, and uh, yeah, we are. Uh, I'm just filling in for um, Brian, um, Mr. Bro Builder. Uh, he is currently on vacation. So uh, it is just me um, right now. Uh, hopefully, uh, a few other people will show up, but for right now, um, we are just going to get right to it. Um, press a hit. Uh, let's just switch over to the camera. There you go. So what we're doing is we're just going to be masking a couple of pieces because uh, that's what I've been doing for the past two days. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you guys want to hang out with me, ask some questions, have some discussions, you know, just hang out and talk. Um, that's uh, That's what I'll be doing. So... Uh, let's get to it. So if you guys want to see the progress of what I'm doing, um, let me see if I can grab this guy real quick. Here is the uh, Night Quanta conversion by Stickler Studio. Um, I've got one side of the shoulders um, kind of worked out. Um, <laughs> what up, Julio? Uh, yeah, I've got one side of the shoulders all done. Um, if I grab... This guy, so this UV light, and we shine it on him. We'll see the uh, the UV or the fluorescent green that I've been using all over this guy. Well, not all over, just some places. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I've got a whole bunch of focus. I've got a whole bunch of other pieces going on um, next to me, uh, which we'll figure out later on. And uh, yeah, with that being said. I'm going to get started. So um, just before I went live, um, I did just finish up this little piece. Uh, nothing major. Um, this is again on the uh, on the red side. Uh, looks okay. Looks clean, clean enough. Uh, but we're gonna mask off the rest of this and then um, hit this this kind of uh, higher piece in a darker red. So I've been using two shades of red so far. Uh, we're not actually going to use this board for this one. So, we can use this board, why not? Yeah, let's use this board, sure. How you feeling, Julio? Feeling good? Hopefully you feel better, man. I know you've not been feeling well. Um, so... I don't know where everyone is at, man. I'm all alone. I haven't done a solo stream in so long. Like, I don't remember <laughs> how to do it. I'm out of practice. This was not a good idea. All right. So hopefully you guys are having a, a decent Thursday. Um, this Thursday, uh, where, where I am, I'm based in Illinois. Um, it's been more rain and snow. Oh, no, rain and snow. More rain than anything. Um, stomach's saying, just inhaled some Pepto. Well, I hope you feel better, dude. Seriously. Uh, that sucks. Um, yeah, hopefully you feel better soon. Uh, what's up, guy, da uh, guy Daigogi? Sorry, man, I haven't said your full name in a long time <laughs> either. Guy Daigogi. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, it's been mostly rain, so it's been, I wouldn't say torrential, uh, it's just been very gloomy, it's been a gloomy day, so that means, uh, usually with days like these, I'm very low energy. Um, yeah, man, it's just been, it's just been one of those, you know? It's just been one of those. And of course, we run out of tape, so let's go ahead and get some more in. So usually what I like to do is I do it from the, the very end. And I have it, like, in this configuration, just because since I'm left-handed, it's just easier for me. And I usually, I usually ignore, like, the size. Unless I need a specific size, then obviously I go a specific size. Um, I usually ignore that. Uh, before this board, I used to use this one a lot. 
this metallic one. Um, this was also pretty good. I always just used to use this one, this, these two right here, uh, the three millimeter by three, I think. Yeah, the three by three and then the two by two. And these are really good for like small spaces. Obviously you have the smaller ones, but the smaller ones never really worked as you can see from <laughs> like from the, the excess tape I have on there. Uh, this was, this was a, a good item. And then I, I finally got the infinity one, which is more, which is silicon. So what up Ungo? How's it going, man? Yeah. Thank you for joining me, man. I know this was kind of very short notice. Um, I was expecting a few, uh, you know, more people on the stream, but this is good. <laughs> uh, Zinrath, what's up, man? How's it going? So we are just masking right now, just cutting out some, uh, some masking tape over here. Then I'm just getting some kind of medium size. Whoop. Some medium sized uh, tape. Just average sized so that we can take up a lot of the area. What up, Ty Furious? Yeah, surprise stream. Um, so uh, essentially, you know, usually it's Brian's Koto Cairo with Dojo that's happening right now, but he, since he is currently on vacation, um, he, you know, I, I figured why not and have something uh, for people to to watch on the Thursday. So that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. Uh, I haven't touched my bench today. Every time I wanted to, my stomach was like, nope. <laughs> Uh, Ngawa says, uh, working on the ZZ Vaka for the Fjord, Fortune Meow conversion. That's awesome, dude. Um, I do want that conversion kit. So, um, so if you guys have subscribed to my channel, um, I don't know if you've seen any of like my older videos. I have the, um, the ZZ uh, Vaka um, conversion kit by Maniac Studios, and that thing is a nightmare. Like an absolute nightmare to work with. And, uh, I should not have worked on that as my like first resin video. Uh, I, it's not finished. It's it's kind of sitting in, in a container somewhere. <laughs> so um, yeah. Ingo uh, says, ah, I felt like something was missing. Good idea to not clash with friends. Yeah. So. I usually don't uh, stream um, when, or I try to not, not to stream when other people are streaming. Uh, but um, like I said, I figured since nobody is streaming tonight, I might as well stream for a little bit and come hang out with you guys and you know kick the shit and hopefully get some stuff done. Um, yeah. So the Ingao says, I'm not sure how this one is as I'm still building the kit, but I imagine it will not retain tra transforming capabilities, which is fine. So <clears throat> um, I don't know if you've seen the Studio Maniac version, um, Ngawa, but the Studio Ma Maniac version doesn't even retain articulation. Like it turns it into a statue, essentially. It sucks. It really sucks. Uh, See, guy good that Google says been prepping for my procedure in the morning, not looking forward to tomorrow in the slides. Oh guy, man, I'm, I hope it goes well. Um, I'm not really sure what procedure you're having. Uh, hopefully it's nothing too serious. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully you'll make a, a quick and full recovery. Uh, the guy says, I didn't know Studio Mani Maniac was even making things anymore. Uh, but that doesn't sound like a very good kit. Um, it it looks cool. I will. Um, it looks cool, but it is. It's not the most intuitive um, kit, and Studio Maniac are very guilty of making kits like that. Like it's not. Um, they're not good. Like they're not. They look great, but they don't. They're not very intuitive to put together. Like you had. I had to cut up the the legs a lot. 
Um, I had to, it was just, yeah, it was just, what am I doing? It was just a, uh, a nightmare. Um, that's which is why I never, <laughs> I never completed it. Um, so that doesn't really bode too well for, you know what, let's move this forward because I'm like, oh, I'm always off shot. So let's move things and move forward up here. That. Um, yeah, like it, I just couldn't complete. I mean, I could finish it, I guess. It's just not, it just wasn't fun to build. So I got to the backpack. I'm like, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, and I love the ZZ. The ZZ is a great looking kit. So I was thinking about picking up that Fortune Meow. Um, it's very expensive. It's a very expensive resin kit, but it might be worth picking up. And as you can see from my extremely messy um, workspace, like very dusty and things everywhere, uh, I've been <laughs> I've been on somewhat of a tear lately uh, because I am trying to get this build finished for SCGMC. Um, now, for people that don't know what SCGMC is, that is the Southern California Gundam Modeling Competition. Uh, based on SoCal. Um, however, since obviously this whole pandemic stuff has been happening, that's not happening in person anymore. So they're ha holding a virtual con. Um, so I'm trying to get this done for that. Uh, however, I may have bitten more than I can chew because the submission deadline is in one month. So October 10th. Um, Go yeah. Uh, so he says I saw your Instagram post earlier from for the quant. Um, the racing stripes you put on is pretty cool. Assuming those aren't decals, those are not decals. Um, here's the here's what I currently have for it. So here's the uh, some of the striping. I uh, know those are all masking. Uh, none of these are decals. Um, I haven't applied decals yet. So um, yeah, this is all just uh, this, this is all just painting right now. Um, this is all mostly base painting. Um, I'm kind of going, you know, kind of body part by body part. So I'm on the shoulders and arms right now. Uh, if you want to see more of the racing stripe, um, uh, well, I just masked one, but here's another one. So it's all just been, it's all just been, uh, kind of just working out where I want things and, and, Kind of where I want the uh, the stripes to be. Uh, let me see here. So, <clears throat> Guy Dagogi says, uh, "Yeah, I'm having a hot uh, catheter catheterization. Doctors find a murmur and distress test. They think it's a clot. Oh, dude, I hope that goes well. Um, <clears throat> my father a couple of years back had a uh, bypass done, um, and yeah, that you know that's always a a worrying thing. I'm glad they caught it, um, and I'm glad that uh, you know they are they're doing something about it. And hopefully, it's it's nothing to you know nothing serious, and and everything goes well. Okay, Just two pieces down. Um, let's see. So funny thing about like the white shoulder. So here's the red shoulder. Here's the other side. So we're going to mask this guy off to, so this middle bit right here has a darker red. Um, the funny thing about this shoulder, and I drop it. Funny thing about this shoulder is I have, I broke it. So I, um, I don't know if you guys watched that interview with Zach, but I always break, uh, I always break something um, on any kit or resin kit I work on. Um, this one, uh, is not an exception. I did break the shoulder. Uh, I did manage to fix it though, so everything was all fine in the end. However, on the back right here, um, I snapped. Uh, I snapped this in half, uh, not on purpose, um, but I, I did break it. But it looks fine now. I mean, you can't really tell. It's it it snapped. So it snapped like around about here. Um, so I just fixed that, and uh, I used a bit of super glue, a little bit of putty. And uh, yeah, we got that. We got that figured out. We got that straightened out, and uh, yeah, everything looks 
Everything looks okay. Uh, and then I think I saw I dropped it again and I broke it. No, um, it it just came apart. It's fine. Uh, let's see. What up, Frankie? Um, let's see. Are you going to have the contrasted top coats like gloss on the red and flat for the white? So I will. It will be a contrasting. Um, finish. However, it won't be uh, gloss on the, the red and matte on the white and vice versa. It'll be, since I'm going to have some metallic pieces on this thing, anything metallic is going to stay gloss, uh, whereas everything else will be will be matte. Um, I mean, I guess I could go the, the opposite way and, and do what you were saying, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Because some of this has red on the white and vice versa. Um, so that, that would be more of a pain, and I don't have a lot of time um, a lot of time to put things together. I have a month from today to get everything done. So not only do I have this main unit to do, I also have the the GN arms. So this comes, well, this doesn't come, it's, it's sold separately. Um, but I'm building alongside this the uh, the big giant 1100 GN arms kit. And that is um, a big boy. And I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's so much work. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see here. Uh, Bingo says, I've only broken a piece on the Yuja Land Hyakushiki conversion, the dang shin spiky thing. Oh, yeah, dude, that's, that's, <laughs> and, and every kit so far has been, there's been a broken piece, but no one's ever going to find out. So, um, and then uh, Zinrath says, uh, I just picked up the Madworks Lupus Extreme. Uh, for my first resin kit, the, the quant is looking awesome. Thank you, Zen. Um, you will have fun with that kit. That kit is is uh, is a cool looking kit. Did you get? You said you got the Madworks one, so that's the one one forty four, the high grade Lucas, right? Uh, and it kind of says breaking parts in progress uh, are really an, are really a uh, nightmare. Uh, are a nightmare. Yeah, they, it really is, and I do it. I do it all the time, and I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, and then you guys says it looked contrasting already, so it seemed intentional. It's a cool effect. Um, I think so too. Yeah, I think it is a cool effect. Uh. I, don't, I just don't know if I have time to like mask things off, gloss coat, or wait, hold on. Yeah, gloss. Uh, so you know, mask things off, gloss coat, and then matte coat. Once I remove that, it's it's it sounds like it'll be it'll be more of a headache than it's worth for the effect, if that makes sense. Um, so we're just you know what? I'm not even gonna put this in together. I'm just gonna put this to one side because we don't need this together right now anyway. Though it is nice to look at. Um, when I build this thing, sometimes I like to look at it just so that I stay motivated. Um, you know, masking pieces is not the most exciting thing in the world. So my, my attention span tends to go all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's a, whew. all right. So let's see. Uh, Zinra says the HG. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a cool looking kit, dude. Um, You'll have fun with it, I'm sure. All right. And to pick. And if my my big head gets in the way, you just uh, just let me know, guys, okay? Because it's very hard to see. So usually, if I'm doing a solo stream, I am uh, I usually do it through Streamlabs. However, I was expecting more people to be here, and um, they didn't show up. So I can't see the screen as well on Stream Yard than I can on Stream Labs. Uh, Frankie says, "I think it'll be worth it. The contrast of matte and gloss. That is, yeah, man. It'll it'll be worth it." If I have the time, if I have time to do it, like I, I think I'll be kind of close, especially if I want the GN arms done. Um, so that's something I have to consider when I. Uh, oh, that's right. Um, it's something I have to consider when I'm when I'm building this thing, or when I'm not building. When I'm, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? When I am 
putting this thing together is I want this and the genome. So I want the whole thing. And I'm also making a custom base. Uh, so that's going to be that's a lot of work because <laughs> the the G, the, the genomes itself is, is massive. Like I'll show you, I'll show you guys one of the GM cannons. I will, actually I can show you both because they're in containers. So here's the um, here's one of the the big the big things for it. There's a massive cannon right there. Um, so this yeah, this is just one. So here's here's this guy, and then here's the uh, the the torso. And I mean that's the size of the torso, like, and this isn't even like the biggest parts. Like the biggest parts are like the leg things, and then you've got the massive thing in the middle. Um, so big dude, big dude. Um, so I want to do this too. I just, I'm just trying to figure out if I, if I have the time. So I don't know if I can do the contrasting top coat, but it it does sound cool, and I will do that eventually. Um, what's up? What's up, Colin? Hi. Hi, Craig. Uh, Freddie, well, well, what do we have here? Uh, someone working on stuff because you put me under pressure, man. Like, put me under too much pressure. I don't like pressure, all right? I succumb to pressure. Like, mostly peer. I remind you, SGMC lost you. And so I've got to be careful here. So the way I snapped the shoulder, the white shoulder, was I was applying too much pressure while I was masking with one hand, like on one hand. So I was doing, you know, kind of your usual thing. And uh, yeah, I applied too much pressure on one side and it snapped. So I'm trying to not do that again. I, I would really like it if I didn't do that again because, yeah, it is deflating when you see, you know, when you break a piece. It's a uh, it's demotivating, and nobody wants that. So let's see if we can't uh, can't do this right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Freddie says, 29 days left to go. Fuck you, Freddie. Uh, Flynn Berger, what's up, man? What's up, Flynn? How's it going, mate? Uh, Guy Dagogi says, saw a video on Facebook this morning from that company that's making the blackest black color showcasing a purest white. The puck that they used stood out like crazy against uh, other true whites. Like, was it like pure bright white? I don't know if I'd ever use that on a kit. Um, might be a, a cool effect to use on what would be bright white though? Like what would be pure, like absolute pure white? I don't know. Like thinking about it, like what would you use that on? You know? Ah, poke myself with these tweezers. You guys notice Julio stopped uh, stopped talking. That means is he's sitting on the toilet right now. <laughs> he man is sitting on the toilet, just peacefully taking the dookie. That's what he's doing. Uh, could do OSL. What's OSL going? Um, the eyes, maybe. That's a yeah. That might be that might be a thing. The eyes. That's a good. That's a good call. Also, my autofocus is just not working today, so that's great. All right, so let's do the other side and pray to God I don't snap the other half. What up, Jay Santos? Oh, oh, so object. Okay, object source thing. Yeah, I mean maybe. Um, I just feel like 
on a, on on a kit itself, uh, I just feel like you would lose a heck of a lot of detail. Um, obviously, with the pure is pure black. That that is its kind of job to absorb that light and make everything this flat, deep void. Um, but yeah. Um, sorry, guys. One second. <clears throat> uh, hey everyone, Chris Pazzi. What's up, Z? Uh, that's me. So, um, you should say grown in here. <laughs> uh, then Gala says, "Yeah, it would be interesting to incorporate into okay. Yeah, I think it would be it would be interesting. I'd you know I'd love to see like the different applications. Um, and also this 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 focus is is killing me. Um. Yeah, it'd be an interesting application to see, to see how people would use it to 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 effects for effects or anything like that. But and I think I've seen it used on like a, a money, like a vinyl figure, right? Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it was just there. It was just pure black. It was just a void. Right, so that was pretty cool. Uh. Let's see, Jason, the blacker than the blacks, black times infinity. Yeah, void. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Gumpler Ronin says, where's Frankie and Julio? So Frankie has internet issues, and Julio has a tummy ache. So it's just me. Sorry, Z. You guys have to watch me do the boringest mosque. having zero conversation. <laughs> oh, also, if you guys didn't catch it, um, while well, we are on the topic of the people I do usually stream with, um, you know, such as Julio, Frankie, um, Z, um, Brian, Mr. Bro Builder, who usually streams on Thursdays um, on his channel um, at, I think it's youtube.com forward slash Bro Builder. Um, he is a, he is one of the guest judges for uh, Zachary Aurelius' um, Mechatro competition. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, have, having um, Brian's input in those things, I think will be a valuable resource um, Definitely a man of talent. So, if you guys are entering that competition, um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I wish I had the time. He says the deadline entries are October 29th, right? Is that what he said? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it was the 29th. So yeah, uh, I think oh, good judge. Yeah, definitely. I think so. I think, um, I mean, if he hasn't shown you guys that he knows what he's talking about during shows like Mechanism, Critical Builds, his his own shows, um, yeah, I think um, I think that was a good call to have someone like uh, someone like Brian judging your builds. Here we go. Just gonna clean this up real quick. I just realized I haven't streamed like a regular stream um, since I want to say July. Right? Uh, Jason Santos, uh, stream keeps skipping for me. Anybody else experiencing? Um, 
I have no idea, my guy. I'm sorry. Let me... Yeah, I'm not seeing any issues, man. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Miguel, what's up, Miguel? <laughs> on, noob. Uh, since too long, man, we need more resin tips. Well, I'm here right now, dude. So if you need some resin tips or any questions, again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am, you know, I'm more than happy to help. I am today's substitute teacher. So, uh, Brian DiFincenzo uh, Di says poggers. I don't know what that means, dude. <laughs> uh, Tafir says, I'm sending these those stickers out tomorrow, guys. I'm going to run in and I'm sending you more rub nub stickers for you and your kids. That's all, that's awesome. Thank you, Tafir. Yes. Um, Jason Hansen says, it's been storming all day. Something's probably messed up somewhere. You know what? It's been raining a lot over here as well. So, it could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, the Ingala says there's some other channels getting more into resin nowadays. Fortunately, they, uh, there can always be more. Absolutely, I agree. Um, so the whole reason why I share like my work and stuff is because I want to tell you, you know, let you guys know that working on resin kits and working on these things um, is not out of reach. It is, you know, it's easy. Uh, <laughs> Brian says, uh, you pronounced it right. Hooray. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I tried. Uh, Ringo says, PogChamp is what Poggers references. What is PogChamp? I don't know what PogChamp is. is that, am I showing my age not knowing what PogChamp is? I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so, all right, so let's, let's, uh, let's do a little bit more masking and then I can do, I can probably put the GN drive together. I think that's where I need to go so we can, we can apply the back and stuff, you know? Um, let's see. And this one right here is a bit, it's a little plain. Maybe I can add like a, maybe I should add some striping to this guy. I don't know. Um, PogChamp is a Twitch emote. It's a face. It's sort of hard to explain. <laughs> ah, you see, okay, that's why. Okay, so I'm not very familiar with, with Twitch. Like I go on there every time um, some of my friends are on, like Julio or uh, Frankie, um, Meg, uh, sometimes. Um, but yeah, I don't really understand a lot of the stuff, uh, the stuff that goes on within the Twitch sphere. So, uh, so it's like it's like that was hype emo. Ah, okay. Uh, Miguel says I'll be doing an in-depth resin binge once I get my Yuja Land High New. Um, what do you mean by uh, an in-depth resin bench? Like, like to absorb knowledge? Because that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, New Julio says, put on the wig pads. Uh, I don't own a wig, Julio. Send me one. I'll put it on. Send me, send me a cool-looking one. Like, put, like with pink and, and silver. Uh, I guarantee you my, head, my forehead won't look massive. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> no. no, she's not watching. It's cool. <laughs> uh, because says, watch all the resin tutorials on YouTube, dude. Yeah, um, yeah. If you, I mean, have you worked on resin before, Miguel? I'm trying to remember if you've shown anything, uh, and any resin on resin stuff before. Um, if you haven't, you picked the a hefty one to 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 work on first. It's a I'm very excited to get that in as well. That's taking its sweet time to get here. I'm also waiting on that Zaku uh, resin conversion from Aether to come in. So there's that. Uh, Freddie says, resin tutorials equal sand, 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 and then sand. Uh, untrue, good sir. Um, now, if you hadn't seen uh, my last resin build, no, actually not my last resin build, the one before that was uh, not just sanding, there was also scribing. 
Uh, guy that, that guy, that Kobe says. Uh, so Julio wants a Doctor Disrespect character made by Pabs. Um, that's, I mean, I don't know what his personality is like. I've only ever seen like clips. He's very, like, he seems like a very angry dude, or a confident one. I don't know. The goal here is just to try to get this masking down to be as clean and as easy as possible because I mean, I know you guys have masked before, but I really dislike this step. It's satisfying to take it off, it's a pain to. And yeah, to me, this is probably the most or the least interesting part, but it is like probably for me the most important. So it's like a there's a bit of a conflict in my head. Uh, born <clears throat> if only if you're not mean about it. What are you talking about? Uh, Miguel, let's let me sh let's let's me show or let me showcase your resin build. Yeah, man, do it, do it. I, I would uh, I would really like to see somebody else build that. I knew. I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be cool to see everybody's interpretation of that thing. Actually, while we're here, let's talk about critical builds. So, um, as you guys know, uh, I I feel like season one um, went pretty well, all things considered, minus uh, Z slip at the end there, <laughs> which he will forever get shit about. Um, but I think. Overall, um, critical builds went went really well. Um, it was received well. People had fun. Um, you know, not only did people have fun watching it, but people had fun talking talking on the show. And then, um, you know, even people watching the streams joined in, and everybody o always gave like very constructive criticism and a helpful. Uh, that is uh, a word that was that was given or sent to me and. Brian and Julio and Z uh, and Kyle a lot, um, you know, helpful. And that was kind of again that was the goal, right? To be as helpful as possible. And you know, kind of we were or me mostly, uh, you know, I was thinking about when season two should start or you know start. Uh, so we're at the first half of September right now, and you know, I've been. Kind of thinking about when season two should start officially. Should I wait until until most things are over? Kind of, you know, we're in that November December phase. Should I wait till next month? Um, I don't know. Oh, not next month. Uh, November December. Should I wait till next year? Is what I was trying to say. There you go. Should I wait till next year? I don't. I don't know. Um, so, uh, you know, if you guys have um, any suggestions, uh, let me know. If there's something you guys want to see in Season 2, if you guys want to see themes, um, if you guys want to do, like, build-offs, you know? Um, we were talking about maybe um, during uh, Brian's uh, Four Horsemen stream on Tuesday, uh, we were thinking about doing maybe a Core Gundam build-off. Yeah, so Guy Daigogi says, all right, Z Paz, we're going to do the Core Gundam build-off, discuss Tuesday, I'm game for it. So... Maybe we should do a uh, like a well for season two episode one, 
uh, we should do like a core Gundam build off that we, we can feature everybody's work. Um, I don't know if there'll be prizes or anything, maybe just bragging rights. I don't, you know, I, we haven't really talked too far into detail about that yet, but I think that's something we can, we can definitely consider. Um, yeah, and I think, uh, I think it'll be fun. So, yeah. Uh, Miguel says, uh, oh, uh, Travis Chaos says, evening, y'all. What's up, Travis? Uh, Miguel Crespo says, and Maker just kicked everybody's ass with his core Gundam. Yeah, that was a very cool build. His Earth 3. Um, I mean, and make I don't, I've not seen and Maker build anything bad. Anybody who's taught by and Maker, I've not seen build anything bad. Um, yeah, I mean the guy. So he, I think he he runs a business where he teaches people how to build, and um, yes, money well spent. I want to say. So let's put this GN drive kind of haphazardly together, just so that we can put this beat on the back of it, and then we can put like the rest of the back on. See how that looks, because. I kind of have to figure out a couple of things still on the back. Like there's a P specifically. So there, um, for those that don't know about this resin kit, um, it uses the GN drive to attach a couple of things to it. Um, it's not... Um, what's the right word for it? It's not. Oops, moving this on the wrong side. Yeah, um, it's not attached to the body itself. It's attached to the GN drive, and that's a, I think that's a little bit dumb. Oops. As I say that, I almost dropped it. That's kind of funny. Was this side? So I did have it on the right side. What the heck? And there's kind of that metallic. And then two shades of gray. Uh, so, Nigal <clears throat> uh, says, whenever time. I don't know. There is no such thing as whenever time, good sir. Uh, and then Gunpla Ronin says, oh, we will have great prizes for the core build. Okay. And I guess you, you heard it here. There will be prizes for the core build. Uh, Miguel Crespo says, what's the story behind this kit? I've only ever seen double O, but don't remember an XEO with bunny ears. That's because it doesn't exist, technically. So this is just a, this is kind of a, a, a fan fiction thing. Kind of a dream kit. Not a dream kit, but, you know, somebody just made it up. Uh, it's not a canon. It's not even side story canon. It's just, it exists. <laughs> it just exists, essentially. So, obviously, this goes in here. Um, oops. It would help if I had it the right orientation. Oops. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So, this guy, which is already masked and painted, so there's two shades of gray, a darker gray over here. Um, and this guy goes this way, and he goes on here, but I might have to sand. Yep, definitely going to have to sand, because it is kind of stuck. Yep, the extra primer and paint kind of cause this thing to get a little too tight.
Uh, I'm hoping sometime next year so I can have something available that I feel is worth submitting, stalling. Okay, so how about this? Um, since, you know, uh, it sh I don't think it should be episode one, maybe. I think maybe it should be, you know, the, like the last episode of season two. That way, people will have time to kind of make their builds. Um, and make their builds throughout the season. And instead of doing five episodes, we'll do 10 episodes. So that'll give you time to build your core Gundam. And then by the time we get to the 10th episode, I'm hoping everybody will be finished with their builds. And then we can do a critique slash uh, showcase. So what do you guys think? Is that a good idea, bad idea? It's all right. Needs refinement. Critique the idea. Let's see how well this goes on. You guys ever watch uh, Animaniacs? Good idea. Bro Builder says, uh, I agree with that end of the season. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think end of the season gives everybody time to, to work on it and build it and, you know, it gives, it gives us the flexibility to do other stuff while everybody's working on on their stuff. This needs more material taken off. I also don't want to scratch the paint, so I'm just I'm trying to be a little bit careful. A little bit. And I just wrapped a uh, some some self adhesive sandpaper onto a sharpie to get the rounded edge. Um, I could just use the rounded file. However, I don't have a file big enough. Uh, and this is just a lot easier to control since it's so big. I am not making that joke. Uh, Guy Daigogi says, The core Gundam has limited potential for customization with kit bashing. That gun block could very well become an essential part of any build in the future. I could stress could become. Um, yeah, dude, I just saw somebody um, kit bash that with the 1220 scale dendrobium. And that thing looks sick. I mean, granted, it might be because it was purple. And that's just my aesthetic. However, it looked pretty cool. So, yeah. I uh, I see the potential in the core Gundam. And, I mean, it was, it was a very cool gimmick to begin with. And, yeah, it just gives people such, like, massive options to, um, to build. So... Found a winner on that in that guy, eh? Or what? Uh oh. Oh no. Here we go. What up? <laughs> on. Yo, that fucking I uh put in some green into my body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting good. A little bit better, man. Yo, sharp, hard pain in like my gut. Keto will kill you. Right? It's gonna kill me, right? This it just goes to show you: stay fat, <laughs> stay fat funnier. forever. <laughs> <laughs> Be fat, no body hurt. Be fat, do crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you feel uh, better. A little bit, man. Yeah, I figured I gotta do something. You out here dying. These people listening to you dying. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing too bad. No, I don't fuck with you. I was I interested. I was interested. Yeah, people yeah. were invested in what I was saying. They're, they, they're still invested. I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he? He was like, yo, give me 15 minutes. I'll be there. I don't know, man. He's not here. I'm, I mean, I'm keeping an eye on it, but... <laughs> 
Everybody's like, fuck, I got to leave now. Fuck this street. <laughs> no. There you go. He's not doing nothing. He's not talking he about smart shit. That. He ain't talking about smart people shit. We can talk about, you can talk about OMC. I have, oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Mm. Hey. hey. <laughs> Two just up, I didn't die. You were didn't alive. die. He's, he's, he's alive. alive. Ran Somehow. <laughs> It's so fucked up. I've been so good for so long. My right. soul was like, nope. What did you, what did you? Yo, oh, yesterday, cute. yesterday I had, uh, I had an omelet, some jalapenos and bacon. Mm -hmm. I had gin and Coke. Uh -oh. And I had a couple uh, scoops of ice cream. <laughs> Non-dairy. <laughs> Non-dairy. Yeah. Uh, Return of the Z. So. Return of the Z. <laughs> He's wearing a hat today and his glosses. All right, he's not mm. making any mistakes today. And today, guys, we're gonna be working on a perfect grade blue frame astray. Oh shit! So join me in my damn. Adventure. Oh, but oh, here it is. I finished it. Sorry. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. You could have done Here's that. One. Here's what it will look like when we're finished. So it's like a cooking show. And <laughs> put it in the oven. Here it is. So did you just have that laying around somewhere? Like uh, apparently. Yes, so I forgot I had it. I, I I was going through my comics and trying to organize Love all, man. all the uh, Love Lo Z. Kind of hey, what up? Um, I was going through all my comics, trying to put them all together before they get destroyed, and I happened to find this thing taken apart, put in a box. Huh. It with my comics, so I'm like, oh, let me uh, let me play around with it while I'm working this morning. You're like, you shall protect the archive. Oh, and of course, I broke it already. So that's cool. How did you that's break cool. it? Um, apparently, I've never been on the television before. Yo, I'm gonna have to show you this real quick, Z. Yeah, go for Z it. Z is getting to be the old guy that's trying to be cool, but isn't. Damn, Meg's hating right now. Meg's just straight yeah. hating. Yo, at least that. he isn't wearing a Yo, shitty wig. Meg's, and, Meg's just mad because she got it yesterday. Yeah, that's oh, what she got it last that's time. And say. now she's trying to get people. Like, I'm, I'm going to get these people back real quick. Uh, uh, it's not working, though. By the way, Meg, Meg those cool guys, um, the young people think those cool guys don't have it going on, but <laughs> they fucking do. They really fucking do, Meg. The fact that young people go, oh, look at that guy trying to be cool is the fact that you do think that guy's cool. And like, man, yep. I think that cool when I'm older. <laughs> I think just that was saying. Cool. I think he's an old guy. I'm like, yeah, that's a cool dude right there. And dude knows his stuff. He lives. Um, actually, I didn't build, so I didn't. Make, I didn't even build this PG. I bought this. What? what? Yeah, I bought this thing because it's a. You know, the blue frame is like a P Bandai. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and some dude was selling it online, like I think three years ago, like just like for like a hundo. What? <laughs> uh, so I had to pick it up. I was like, "Build or not, fuck it. I'm taking. I'm getting this thing. You know, that thing is fucking huge, dude. Yeah. I, for, so. I forget how thick the PG. Yeah, this thing is, is actually more like um the high res kind of thickness hmm. level. Shit. Meg laughed and walked away. Yo, she looks like Mystery Science Theater yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, Meg. Go to sleep. Buy a different wig. That I wasn't the one giving her all that shit yesterday. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah. You. You, you guys suffer my wrath. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's broke now, so time to put it in the custom pile. What? You're going to use that for parts? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I, I'm going to do uh, some painting on it, maybe. You know, change it from a blue frame to a light blue frame. Some yeah. shit. Do that gold frame that everybody's hanging. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, so I jumped on. I know you you guys were talking about it. Um, well, Fabs, Julio, and got one of the other things for a little bit for tomorrow. Can I get out now and get, get to bed and try to get some sleep? Uh, I'm not sure what I missed, but good oh, luck. So, uh, guy, uh, guy's getting a fat editor installed. Um, he has a. They found a hot mama. So, yeah, oh, guy. Shit. I hope. Uh, I hope everything goes well, my man. Keep us updated. Uh, we wish you all the best. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow, man. I mean, it's a simple procedure, but you know, you're gonna do great. Yeah, you're gonna do great. Good Thoughts luck. Thoughts and prayers, my guy. Friend. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Get some rest, brother.
Yo, smoke a little crack before you. <laughs> you don't go in there. <laughs> you can do great. Maybe some weed, not some crack. <laughs> you just slow down the heart rate. Yeah. Bring it up. I'm not even sure what else goes in some time. What were you saying? What's that? Um, what saying? I was saying how we you were talking about how critical builds and all that was great and you know second season. But have you guys noticed? And I'm not gonna say it's us. <laughs> maybe, but maybe. Have you noticed the insurgents or the resurgence, I should say, of a lot of other kind of folks, shops, groups starting to do the same thing where they're like, and which is great. I'm not saying that they're doing anything wrong. Uh, like I've seen like in my stream for the last maybe few weeks where people are like, hey, folks that are not as well followed or people oh, that need yeah. kind of more of a, you know, people that need more of their build showcase and things like that. Uh, let us know and we'll shout them out, et cetera, et cetera. So I know that wasn't happening for a while. So I, I'm just trying to draw a correlation. That's all. I'm just saying that there's a there's a surgence of this and it's you great. Think they uh, I don't know if they're, I, I mean, I wouldn't call it biting. I think it's great. If people are looking at our show and going, hey, we could do that too, great. Do it because there's a do lot of builders out there that do need to have their stuff kind of brought more into the light. And anybody who's willing to do that for them, that's that's fantastic. Even if it's a fail. <laughs> Even if it's a fail. Even if I fail. Even if I fail. Even if I fail. No, I just, you know, I think they buy in. <laughs> think they buy in? I think they buy in, plain and simple. I don't know, man. I mean, uh, you know, if they if they if they're doing this with the best of intentions, and they think, you know, if they did watch the show and be like, yeah, I want to do something like that, then more power to them. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't we don't own any kind of copyright to that. You didn't put in the paperwork. No, I didn't. Fuck. Fuck, <laughs> man. Shit. No, no paperwork. You could have made something of like this. I mean, absolutely nothing from this. That was the whole point. <laughs> nah, we gotta fuck it. We need, you know what it is? We gotta put a TM at the end of something. Hashtag TM. Yeah. Copyright 2020. Like, yo, what up, Manny? What up, Manny? What yo, up, Manny? Hello. I saw this man's, I saw this man's selfie. Sorry. <laughs> Looking luxurious. Luxurious as Manny. fuck. Did he not look like um what's his I, I saw it and I was like, yo, my man looks exactly like Andre 3000 with the long <laughs> <laughs> luxurious. Bro. Oh my god. I felt like you should have been on the coast of Costa Rica and shit. I mean Hair he was wing. feeling it. Nah. He was definitely feeling like he was. It was nice. I liked it. Yeah, yeah where are you? Oh, hey, Brian's back there. It says mobile, bro. Oh, mobile, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. There he is. I'm here. You can't, see me. Here. You can't see me yet. I'm taking care of the grill right now, out, hey. away from the light. So. He's growling. <laughs> we see you. We see you in silhouette. But dark, mysterious man. <laughs> <laughs> Moving around. Standing in your porch. <laughs> we are. Getting ready yeah, to stretch. Right on the back deck. All right, dude. Man, man, the work is hard. That yard is looking nice. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. You enjoying oh, know, your, right? uh, your mini getaway, man? Like... Yeah, it's been kind of nice. Yeah. Away from the bench, you're actually standing. <laughs> yeah. That's freaking me out. That's, yeah, that's freaking me out. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> what? Man, oh. You're standing. Right. I've, never, I've never seen Brian standing up. <laughs> yeah, I have legs. Much like PewDiePie, I also have legs. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, I didn't know that this whole PewDiePie thing was was a thing. And then, like for the last three days, like I know somebody mentioned it like on Tuesday, and then since then, like I've just seen it everywhere. People are hating. Yeah, he's uh. So he's been into Gumplot for like years now. Um, even Zach sent him something. Yeah. 
and mm-hmm. he's, been, he's talked about it. He, he he did a vlog where he went to the Gundam base and bought Gunpla. Um, but yeah, the, this I mean, if this if this is not like the most uh, what's the word for it? Um, the most stupid. obvious oh, way stupid. of the, the, the gatekeeping that people yeah. complain about. If this isn't the most obvious version of it, then I don't know what it is. Man. Right? Like, yeah, I, guess I haven't. I haven't heard the mess. What are the, what's the, what are they saying? Like what? Like everyone, like oh, he's just doing this to get more people to follow him, or try to be trying to stay relevant, and even though he's the biggest one, it's like I was like, well, he's just doing this for more likes. Uh, <laughs> oh, he pulled the video down of the build. Oh, he's probably just basic building shit. I'm just like, who gives a fuck? Let the men enjoy the hobby. Yeah, well, yeah maybe the hobby. guy wants to build an avalanche. Like who'd have thought? It's a cool kit. Maybe he wants to have fun, right? Who'd have yeah. thought? <laughs> yeah, like, in every every time I've seen a post about him, there's just been like a rash of comments where people are like, "Whatever, fuck him, this, that, the other," and then there's like one person defending him, going, "No, he's been doing it for a few years, man. Like even Zach sent him something, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Yeah. And it's like, all right, but again, yeah, I thought for a second to like slide into his stream and be like, "Yo." Felix, good to see you doing stuff, blah blah blah. But then I was like, yeah, you gotta join and all that. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> join. Yeah, he's yeah, join us, to join his channel. Yeah, um, he's testing out to see if there's like any interest in it. Oh, okay. Which is totally I fine. will not be joining, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, cool. no. Hey, I mean, you know, there's. There's, there's people doing far worse. There's people doing far yeah, worse than beauty yeah. pie. That's all oh, I'm yeah. gonna say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Manny, um, that's right. <laughs> With the glorious manes and <laughs> we quoted White Snake. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, congrats. He's going on vacation to Japan next year. That's awesome. Who? Manny. Manny. Wow. Yeah. Overnight oh, party. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. People don't. People don't travel anymore. What are you talking about? Yeah, planes yeah. don't exist in 2020. <laughs> if you can't get there by land, you're fucked. <laughs> they were all destroyed. Oh. In the of me, you giant spider. Right. Oh, no! I'm in New Jersey. There's nature. Yeah, that's right. You know, <laughs> I was oh. driving oh, one time into Manhattan, and uh, I've once I crossed the bridge, I. Uh, Saw some like cliff sides with trees on it. I was like, "What the fuck? There's nature outside of like Central Park in New York." Yeah, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> what? Sounds wrong. Honestly. It was. It was weird. And then, like, what? of course, you know, Central Park is awesome. And then, as soon as the sun sets, you're like, "This is weird. I gotta go." It's dark in here, man. <laughs> Isn't most of like the Hampshire's <sighs> like yeah. nature? Well, that's but not New York City. Like New York City, there's only well, yeah, but nobody in, goes to fucking your park. That's it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know anything about New York. You don't know nothing. Uh, well, I mean, I've never been, so I don't well, have any. So, the Clover Field, which is the name of the farm that they turned into Central Park, uh, was just a really the like the last holdout of farmland in the center of the city. And then they were, as they were about to close in and suck it up like a tiny little butthole, they were like, <laughs> maybe we should have grass right? as well as nothing but city. Yeah. That so sounds they like a good idea. They even hauled in massive rocks to make it look like it was upstate, which is what the north massive. end of the park looks like. Right. That, because they literally carted in tens of tons of massive stones to make it look like those cool cliff sites, right? See? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it is really interesting. It's, I think it's awesome, but, you know. I like it. I like Central Park a lot. I mean, and another thing, I, from what I've heard, I, I think it was like, like it was a black-only community living there, and they were gentrified and kicked out to make Central Park. Oh, I did not know that. I, I've heard that. I don't know how Ooh. true that is. I've I don't think that. so. I, I thought it was just farmland. Yeah, I could be wrong. Black could farmland. Be wrong. Yeah, black farmland. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, yeah. Pro- yeah. Prove hey, me what, wrong. Cal? I'm happy to be proved wrong at any given time. So. Yeah, no. Um, um, no one's hating on Jersey. I love Jersey. I know. I used to, before Hi, I Cal? went to Jersey, I used to hate Jersey. 
like before I ever went to Jersey, I just kind of like went with all the jokes that everybody used to make about Jersey. They're true. And, you know, and I didn't like it. <laughs> and then when I got to Jersey, the first time I went to Jersey, I only got to see like very industrial parts of it. And I was like, this is, this is shit. Doo-doo. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to Jersey on my own and kind of just explored in my rental car for like three days. And then I was like, yo, there's a lot of nice places in Jersey. Yeah, Jersey's not horrible. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, a lot of nice places in Jersey. Just stay away from the, the stupid places. And then I realized Daniel LaRusso was from Jersey. Who is Daniel LaRusso? Um, the that, Karate Kid. Who? The Karate, the karate kid. kid. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, Miyagi-Do. Miyagi-Do <laughs> Dojo. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you still haven't watched Cobra Kai? Babe? Oh, I have not watched it. I gotta watch it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to finish Ozark season three. Then I'm gonna start and just binge watch Cobra Kai before uh, season three starts. I haven't. I haven't watched TV in a very long time. Jesus, <laughs> you turn on the TV. No, 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 no. No, yeah, I gotta work on this. I go mask. <laughs> I go mask. I go mask. You gotta throw it on in the background, man. Oh, hold on. I think Brian dropped from Tokyo to He's Toronto. Back, Hold on, hold on. That's how cheap it is hair. right now. From Tokyo to Toronto round trip is six hundred and seventy-four bucks. What? Wow, that's insane. Dang. That's awesome. That might be worth the risk. Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That might be worth the risk. It's okay. It's okay. You don't go to Patterson or Camden. <laughs> yeah, Camden. Yeah, you Kelly. Camden, you're good. Where are you going, Yusuf? It just depends. If you're from those areas, you're fine. True. True, true, true. The only place I found a Bobby 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 Flay restaurant is in Jersey, in Eantown, Bobby's Burger Palace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know he's got like restaurants in the Southwest. I've never been to her. But I was in Eantown, New Jersey, which I never heard of until I went there. And I was like, Bobby's Burger Palace. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll with it. And then I went and got myself a crunchy fried burger. It was delicious. Ooh, crunchy. Yeah. Crunchies. Sounds good. 540 wrong good. trip. Wow. Be right back. Be right back. Uh oh. I think he's getting his credit card. To go to New York? I mean, to go to Japan from New York? Yeah. Oh, he's at Toronto. Yeah. Uh, Manny. From New York. Oh, Jersey. Manny says from New York. Yeah. Oh, from New York. No, New York. No, no, New York, New, Newark. I didn't say New York. I said Newark. I think Newark. it's fine. Newark. 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 It's cool. Newark. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not Newark. Newark. That's, That's you a name. That's, That's a name. I don't know where that is. I've been to JFK. That was it. Does this change the aspect if I turn my phone? Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, snap. I think I can actually read the chat. Were you not able to us? Oh, no, no, I have to switch back and forth, which is why I got dumped because I backed up instead of like X out of the chat and tried to neg- navigate. And, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm Miguel, not here today. Miguel says, uh, "Pab said New Oak, <laughs> New Oak, <laughs> New York, New York." No, I said New Oak, the, no, no, said, no, New, no. Oak New Jersey. He said New Oak. No, he said. No, he said no, yeah, it's if you knock. <laughs> So it's pronounced uh, it's no, it's spelled N E W E R K. It's I thought it was, well, many t- uh, spots it N E W A R K. Newark. 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 <laughs> yeah, but you pronounce it Newark. 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 Actually, you pronounce Newark. it N O R K. Newark. Newark. <laughs> yeah. Newark. Are we talking about New York or talking about Newark? Newark, the New Newark. Jersey, Newark. Yeah, Newark. Newark, Newark, New, New Jersey New International Jersey? Airport Jersey? is what we're talking about. Yes, New Jersey. Um, by the way, the best steak I've ever had was in the New York in the Newark Airport. <laughs> in my Newark. life, and I've been to we're, we're, like this is not a flex. This is just in my work line of work. I've been to very fancy steakhouses and restaurants, and Have the you been best to steak. <laughs> uh, and the best thing I had was in the airport waiting. I was delayed leaving New York, and I went into New York and and uh, in the, at the corner of the in, in one of the terminals, there was a steakhouse. Me and my buddy grabbed a seat, ordered the steak, and I was like, 
This is it. The best British people will be ever. like, no. <laughs> <British. laughs> and no, A, no. what's this? A low free. What is A low free? Yeah, I don't know. A low free. Que lo que? Hello free. Hello free. Hello free. Oh, it's hello friend. <laughs> hello, hello free. Hello free. Hello free. Hello, 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 free. It's hello. Or is it hello governor. Hello governor. Hello. Nobody actually says that ever. ever. Do they do to a because governor? It is wonderful. It's, it's, you look at that hairline. That looks great. See, you're pulling off the more oh. climbing, baby. <laughs> it's climbing. Halo three. It's Halo three. It's <laughs> Halo 3. <laughs> Halo 3. Yo, that's what the game's been out since what? 20, 2007. It's 13 years old this year. That's really good. So, uh, this this month. It's crazy. I gotta hey, say that. Halo 3. <laughs> really good. Well, perhaps if they do run into a governor and they have to say hello to the governor, they would say, hello, governor. No, they'd say, hello, sir. sir? Or they would say, or would they say, hello, magistrate? No, they say hello, sir, or no, mom. They don't say mom. 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 Mom? Mom, yeah. So M A hyphen A M. Mom. Mom. Like ma'am, yeah. Oh, like yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Mom. I don't know. I feel like they would be <laughs> I don't say mom. I say mom. 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 I don't say mom. I yeah, say mom. mom. Right? There's, no, there's no H in there. It's no mom. Man. It's mom. I just oh, mom. Uh, mom. I gotta like fix the camera. Here we go. That's what I, gotta do. I found it. I found the piece. Oh, you know, I did get some work done on the bike. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'll give you the screen. I, I think Miguel was having anxiety about the bike, right? What does that say? Fathor? Fathor. <laughs> Fathor. It was my birthday present. Lucky for you, uh, I there. am mighty. <laughs> I am mighty. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I'm not going to lie. That is really cool. I like it. Let's I see like the bike. Um, so this is the current situation of the mod. Oh, oh. Yeah, what did you so, end up doing? Oh, okay. So I kind of cut off all the rest of the stuff that was back here. And then added that little white plastic ribbing to the seat to give it, you know, the rest of the butt and the bottom as well. Tail. Now that this is here and it's set, I will use some putty and add to it and make a low profile round little butt and then it will go tail. Ow. <laughs> Yo, from this from the side, it looks like hands ready to grab some butt. Yeah, give me the butt. Tail. <laughs> and 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 and, 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 and tell you that part of the bike is called the tail. <laughs> gonna, I no longer qualify to let anyone know whether their builds are failures or successes. <laughs> <laughs> Broken side, all fixed and good to go. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You you broke you it. Break the other side. Or you broke it again. I broke. No, the side I broke, I fixed. Yeah, but he broke to fix it. This really. side broke. Uh, well, now you yeah. know how to oh. fix it. <laughs> how did you, you rate know what that? they say, man? I have now. I have. If no you have idea. a sport bike like that, you're just gonna lay it down. This where the matter. I've been where it was since the day I showed it to you guys, and I looked at it to start working on it last night, and I was like, "Hmm." Do you think cool. some of the some of the paint might have eaten away at it? Uh, I think it's demons. Oh. <laughs> I will, you yes. I will test legs. Oni are uh, definitely the cause. Yeah, Oni tend to not like handlebars. Handlebars! <laughs> That's like my working <laughs> title for the Samurai Max 2 right now is Oni. Just crack him in half. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Miguel says, I want to see this bike as the premier build on Critical Build. <laughs> uh, so I will. I will submit this bike, oh, Miguel. But I this bike here, guys. Hold on. It as a, a what not, everything Whoa. of what not to do. Oh, they're like, what yeah. are you doing? Leave me alone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, no. The premier so, build to say what now? Why, what not to do? Talk to me. Is, is basically a what not to do kind of, and I'm okay with that, right? Like, so first thing, the only part of this bike that's been primed as far as being paint, being ready for paint is what you see right now. Everything else has been painted with no primer whatsoever. 
Most of it's been oh, hand painted. Plastic. Yeah. Uh, most oh, of it looks good. Painted. You did it good. And uh, and and if you if you get close and look at it, like there's a lot of parts where you'll see like overspill of glue. Mm. Uh, you're gonna see kind of like random faint amounts of fingerprints, and you'll even see like paint rubbing off in certain areas because it was not primed. Um, so the thing to remember about airbrushing lacquers is if if you don't if you go heavy it will melt into the paint if you go very light even though it cures it never fully kind of depending on how many layers you put on it's never just gonna you gotta hit a sweet spot right so you're gonna the more <coughs> the more it's gonna rub off so you'll see that on here um, yeah exactly and then and i didn't care like when i was building this i went into this thing where it was sitting around for a while and then i was like okay i just want to build it now this thing is kind of eating at me and i just want to kind of get to it um plus it was my first one and i and i knew going in it was going to be very uh a complicated build because you have to build a little part or paint a little part build it assemble you know and then get to the next part paint that then put those parts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? It wasn't just like, a, let's paint everything and then put it together and we're done. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to plan to do it that way. I just kind of was like, I don't have time to go, let me prime it, let it cure, let me paint it, let it cure for three little tiny parts. I wasn't about to spend three hours on a first time build. I just wanted to get to it, knock it out, see how well I can do what I learned from it. And then the next one I build, I will take my sweet time because I know what I'm doing. I've been through that process. Because again, it's not snap pad either. It's all glue, right? Yeah. It's all glue and screw. Right. So, so it was just something, it was a learning process. And I figured do it badly, as Joel likes to say, <laughs> and see what turns out. And so far. Brandon, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. But yeah, yeah, we can use it as a case study of what not to do. Uh, but again, I, I'm. Like I told you the other day, where I don't care if I do it good or bad, uh, I just enjoy my time building. Wait, you know, see, I don't care how it comes out at the end. See, do you enjoy the hobby for yourself? I enjoy the hobby for myself. I really do. Everything up until is a lie. A lie. <laughs> a lie. Um, there's something really uh, relaxing about watching somebody build. Uh, a an, an automobile, automobile like a car or a bike or a plane. Um, I've been uh, I've been watching a lot of um, of those builds on YouTube lately um, from Aoshima, from mm -hmm. um, like some Japanese builders that, that do a lot of uh, of car, mostly car car models. And yeah, there's something really relaxing about watching them do it. It really is. It's different than watching Gunpla. Mm -hmm. Like remember, Path? I shared that one channel of the of the. He's a Slavian guy who does only like. Uh, jets and planes, right? Like most, yeah. Uh, and I just watch his channel for hours. I just I just mm -hmm. enjoy him, like the process of him. Is that like, like is that like Scalaton or something like that, or who is that? Um, it's because I like Scalaton. Like that. Yeah, it's like something either Scalaton or, or Skill Modeler or something. Uh, yeah, there's but, yeah, there's there's a, there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a oh, bunch. Yeah, and, my, my and it's great. My web pilot Wednesdays. Sorry, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, it is very relaxing and, and it's just kind of like therapeutic because you're like, this is not the same as Gunpla. Like there's, even though it's a 30 minute video of them completing a full model, like you just, you're like, man, it just, it looks nice and easy. There's a workflow here. They use you know, zone out. Like they use zone, zone yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's fun to watch. You guys have seen the, like the stop motion guy, right? That does like the stop motion models. Yes. Where like. The parts literally like just slide across oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. together and they like fold up and they, oh it's so nice. I love those so much. That takes a long time to, to do too. Oh dude. Oh yeah. I and I complain about making videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did I did one of those for uh for my broadcasting YouTube. school. I did it for broadcasting mm -hmm. class once. And, yeah, um, yeah. It was like I'm, oh, I'm wow. never doing this again. Nope. No. <laughs> I know, dude. And back then, I did it with uh, like a big old, you know, candy cam. Yeah. Oh. Um, and you had to get a tripod and rent all that from like the lab in school, and and you just had to let it sit there, like record for a second, then we'll maneuver and record. Come. It was all very manual. 
man, it took forever. And then the first time I saw like a stop motion movie, like a Hollywood production, I was like, fuck that. I don't care. I would, I would be like, I hated every minute of working on this movie. Fuck this thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I can't. I, could, I, I don't have the patience for it, man. It was just, that's, that's a whole other level of. You know who does it? Uh, Dan. Dan does it with his gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, talk with Dan? Uh, yeah. No, um, Dan's uh, Dan. Dan CEO. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's oh, over oh. In, uh, he's over in Medellin or I think, right? He's over in like Colombia. Yeah. Um, no, he's in Costa Rica. Not is it Costa Rica? Not Costa Rica. It's a uh, Chile. Chile. He's in Chile, yeah. Chile. He's in Chile, that's right. He does it with some of his builds and it's like five seconds, but I know that five seconds took him like three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so blurry, bro? Wet Palette Wednesdays. Wet Palette Wednesdays. Yeah, so I. Oh, you zoomed camera. in. Yeah, mm. like I said on my camera, so when I, I bring stuff up, you see it real good. Ah, There's a knob it. in the front of the lens. You spin it. And it's it's not that kind of camera. Camera. There's no knob here. It's not that kind oh, of camera. Sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> right. I'm the same boat. I like that. I like that. You need uh, to get a capture card. Pab, and you and I are going to have a conversation. I'll, I'll check that out. I'll I check got that you. Out. I got you. You guys, you guys like my Ninja Turtle drawing? Wasn't that? Oh fuck! Dude, yeah. you should show people. Dude, what I think I, I think a lot of people saw it. I posted it. A lot of people saw it. But I was, oh. I am particularly proud of that because, as I said, I haven't sat down to seriously draw anything in like twenty years, except for that narwhal. And I think that was kind of like a stimulant. <laughs> that was kind of like a stimulant. To, you know, it that was like we- drawing, right? That that we will sit down and just kind of draw for a little while and yeah. our dreams kind of that reminds me next next tuesday guys everybody get ready oh, next geez. tuesday we go. we're gonna yeah, do the thing let's again do it. let's think, do it uh, i think I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a stomach ache coming in <laughs> yeah we haven't seen pat draw anything it can't be as bad as my narwhal mm. my mega narwhal come on <laughs> it's been a we're gonna do something a little different we're not gonna do like a we're, we're do something a little more fun We'll do something like a helper bot or like a cleaning robot or like a, you know, something fun, like a, you know, like a, a robot that brings you the toast or something, you know, fun, like loose. It doesn't have a huge constraint or have to look like a thing that already exists. Let's do something that I'm doesn't have to look Judy. like anything. I make, make, I make Rosie. Is it Rosie? Rosie. Yeah, I'm going to make Rosie. What's Rosie, Rosie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rosie. Judy was the wife. Judy. No, Jane was the wife. Judy was the daughter. Jane. Yeah, Jane was the wife. You know, are you are you thinking about helper bots because you're doing all that yard work? <laughs> like, no, a no, but I have been doing a fair amount of yard work, and it's worth it. Yeah. No, my uh, my sister in law's uh, boyfriend totally 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 helped me out big time yesterday. It was oh, yeah. awesome. We cleared so much of the yard. It was awesome. Good shit, another pair of hands. Uh, mm-hmm. M- Manny uh, Brian is uh, at uh, Colleen's parents' house, right? Yeah, Colleen's yeah. mom's house. Yeah, I'm down in uh, Jersey. Yeah. His mother in I did. I did yep. see the. You guys see the, the new. Uh, the, what do you call the Virgo? Is it a Virgo? No. Oh, the Virgo. Oh, Mercurius and V8. V8. That's what it is. Yeah. V8. The, the Virgo is like the black and purple. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. But okay. yeah, Virgo and Taurus. Yeah. Yeah, they announced the uh, some new HG kits today. Yeah, you know I'm getting those, right? Yes, I did. That's why I, <laughs> I did not see it. Oh, well, yeah, it's the Gundam Wing stuff. Uh, so, comment that was like, Wing fans always go crazy over stupid shit. And then he's uh, like, I need to go crazy over another GM. <laughs> those things are not real, okay, guys? In, in real life, that thing would not be able to fly. The thing is not uh, space. And then he says, uh, oh, okay, because I'm like, that don't look like. A new <laughs> apartment. New <laughs> apartment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Carl says, "Hope this it all the new parts that they fix the ankles." What was wrong with the ankles? Uh, th- I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I built them and I chop them up, so I don't. I don't know what happened with the ankles. I don't know. Something wrong with the ankles? Yeah, I definitely changed both the ankles and the feet of. <laughs> the two kid matches I did with Leo. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with the ankles, man? Hey, Ty, I don't know if you're still out there. And 
if you are going to be sending more, have you guys seen the nub nub? Yes, I did see it. The rub nub, rub nub. The rub, rub nub, nub sticker that rub nub yeah. Yeah. is awesome. Oh, but, wow. But I, I also want the other one if I don't already have it. I would love that one. That is better. People don't send me stickers. Do you oh, I got some. I got those. That awesome. I'm gonna channel. I'm gonna channel my inner Jimi Hendrix later, and then, and then get rid of those stickers. Uh huh. Yeah. Play my guitar left handed with a around a pit of fire. Anybody know what you're talking about? Fire. <laughs> Uh, no, Ty, if I already have it, I can't remember, Ty. If I already have that one, that's cool. It's because all my uh, stickers are, I haven't, other than for the two my son took and placed them on this laptop, which is my work laptop, I haven't placed the stickers anywhere. I uh, am saving all of them for when I have a workspace, and then I'll have a place to actually put them somewhere, whether it's on a mat or on a poster board, and I'm going to put them on a wall. But I have them, so if I already have that one, it's cool. Don't send another one. Uh, they're all safe in, in the bag. I just don't recall if you sent that one or not. That's all. <laughs> You're going to get a work pace soon, Z. Don't worry about it. Oh, dude. So we went to Ikea today. Uh -huh. And, and I, I, I didn't go. You guys told me not to buy a desk. and But we went to go buy a chair, like the one that. So I ordered a chair from Amazon for my daughter. The original mm -hmm. desk was great. And then we ordered another one. But this one came in, and it, you know, it looked the same, but it was completely different. Yay for <laughs> knock off Chinese chairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it looks literally 90% of the same thing, but it mm. doesn't work exactly the same. So the material, instead mm. of being leather, it was polyester. The color of the white was different. And then the wheels, you know how they have wheels on office chairs where if you're not sitting on it, it won't move. And if you are sitting on it, you can roll it? No. Yeah. Well, this was... This was the opposite. When you sit on it, <laughs> <laughs> what? So I'm like, That's okay, I'm like, on this, and it was super uncomfortable. Like the padding was like that thin. So I was like, let's just go to IKEA. There's some chairs online that are there, but they won't. It's costing more to ship than to buy, and it's only thirty minutes away. Um, and we went there to look at every desk, every office chair. Is completely oh, not even sold out. Oversold. The signs say we have overcommitted this item. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. Just for their kids, and they're like, "Okay, I'm still stuck at home, so might as well get a deck and all that, right?" So everyone's in the same mind frame. And uh, yeah, so not it was even though so the trip was still worth it though because I found a new TV kind of valet entertainment center that matches everything uh all the furniture we're trying to get like matches like the gray and white team that we're going for basic bitch suburban bitches right <laughs> um, mm -hmm. so pre-built uh for like 80 bucks and i was like hell yeah I'm, I'm gonna put this in my truck it was like one of those scratch and dent ones but it was like a floor model that wasn't mm -hmm. really and they were selling it instead of 200 bucks for 80 bucks. I'm like, yep. That's for me. Popped it in the truck, brought it over. Oh, right. uh, Gail, no, man, I'm waiting. The boys, I, maybe Julio and Brian have seen it. But I oh, know. it's so good. I haven't seen the new episode. It probably drops soon. Uh, they said every Friday, Friday you know? Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Mm. I have not watched it either. I mean, like I said, I, I have No, I got to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I got I to I I watch the catch first up. three. That shit was good. If I'm watching TV, it's a rerun of something. Right now, my wife is on her Parks and Rec uh, uh, cycle. Oh, she's still doing Parks and Rec. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Parks Pabs, are you keeping up with binging with Babish as well for all the Parks and Rec recipes that he digests and makes real? Yeah. Man. That's some <laughs> good shit. I gotta watch more of that. But yeah, I, yeah if, I'm, if I'm watching something, I'm usually, it's usually because I have my... Uh, if I'm watching something, it's it's. I'm not really watching it because my back is turned and I'm, I'm looking at this table. Yeah, you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not watching. I'm listening to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's I. Anytime I have the TV on, it's on Food Network or HGTV, or <laughs> I'm actually going to sit down and watch something, which is only when my wife and I sit down and watch. You for real? Um. So when I was in the hospital last year. Uh, my TV was I did I couldn't find the remote 
So it was just on HGTV, and I did not oh, realize nice. the absolute well, treasure yeah. that channel actually is. Oh, dude. <laughs> trash. Oh, no, yeah. treasure, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's great. Like, uh, oh, treasure. You know, good, good, good. Uh, love your wrist, uh, Good Bones. Yeah. You've got Property Brothers. Got yeah, shit. Property Brothers are good, shit. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't have cable, so I don't, uh, I don't normally watch HGTV. So I was like, "Is this what we're missing out? We're missing out on all this stuff? We're missing, we're missing out on this good home stuff?" Oh, yeah, it does. It does motivate you to work on your house. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> what I need is a house to match my motivation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I travel for hours to come down to my mother-in-law's and, and work on her yard and, and di- diagnose. Hey, what's up? What's up, lowercase Z? Look at me. I'm outside now. What's happening, baby? Is that enjoying We're all wearing glasses today. Oh, he wants chocolate. It's 10 p.m. You're like, can I have chocolate? Bro, I want chocolate, too. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, brother. Alexander <clears throat> out there drinking the finest of breast milks. Oh my god, bro. Here he's drinking the, the finest of weirdest Oedipus <laughs> complex ever. Jay, Jay Santo says, uh, I'm out here drinking the, the finest of cooler made gin and tonic. <laughs> Me and the go to many shows going on Ozark, Doom Patrol, Harley Quinn, watching Lovecraft County, uh, Country. About to start Mandalorian. Power Book 2 started and got to catch up. I almost uh, don't want the TV. You, yo, Jay, you got to add Raised by Wolves. On oh, dude, that looks good. That looks good. Yo, I want to check that out too. Ridley Scott and shit? Hey. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucking great. Really blown away. I was like, yeah. God damn, this is good. And it, uh, Clue up if those of you that don't have the streaming stuff, if you haven't seen it yet, the first episode is available on YouTube, YouTube. if you want to get hooked hey. on it. Do that. Um, where, where, does it, uh, where does it air normally? Or Max? Or something HBO like Max. Ah, yeah. HBO. Dreadful, I don't know how good Penny Dreadful is going to be. Uh, like the original Penny Dreadful, I loved. It was amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. But this new kind of spin off, which is not technically a spin off, mm-hmm. but they're going like in London town, Penny Dreadful were just horror stories in the newspaper. It weren't like mm. a continuing story. It was just like every week it was a different thing. Yeah, I never so, watched it. But it looks decent. So I want to check that out. Too. I watched the first couple of episodes actually of Penny Dreadful. It looked it, it was actually quite good. Um it gets better and better and they really kind of the classic how the monsters, you know, Dracula, yeah. all that. It was absolutely I, I visually it was great, and the storytelling of that was for me was a lot of fun. And Ava Green is great and everything. I've been meaning to watch the marvelous oh, Miss Maisel. What the fuck is good. that? I heard <laughs> that the, the, uh, the story. No, about no, like, I know Maisel. No, no, oh, okay. no, no, I know Maisel. Don't get me wrong. I'm looking, I'm looking over here in the distance, and there is a gigantic column of white smoke or steam or some oh, shit yeah. off in the north here in Jersey. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably can't see it. Oh, yeah. I see it. It's over that way. Uh, Goku hit somebody in the sky very hard, <laughs> and know. he fell to the ground and caused the plume. No, of it, looks like, it looks like a massive fire or something. Oh, shit. Uh, do you think it's like a gender reveal party? God, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Congratulations. Jesus it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you hear about the, the couple that spent $95,000 to light up a skyscraper in Dubai? For what? To show their gender reveal. Yeah, that couple is stupid. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, you, can see, you, can see, you can see Brooklyn behind me. Hey. That's Staten. I see it. I see it. And I then that it. over there, that over there is Brooklyn. Dope. Back there. Yeah. That's what Julio Brooklyn. is. I'm right there. You don't see me? I'm waving. <laughs> uh, yeah, expanse, I've heard nothing but good things about the expanse and uh oh, the expanse is incredible. I can't yeah, wait for it. Awesome. Amazing. The Burj Khalifa, 95 yeah, yeah, our building there, but that's what they did it on. It's so dumb. It's yeah. so cool. Uh, it looks incredible. What is that? 
Do it for the gram. I really don't know what that thing is over there, guys. I just love the gram. Oh, man. It's still raining ash. Brian, put your mask on and go investigate. <laughs> is he, is he a There's nobody around me. <laughs> yeah, Callie looks crazy right now, man. <laughs> My buddy uh, lives in Chino, but other people were sending pictures from like further up even. Like the next state up, and it looked just bright red in the middle of the day. Yeah. Dude, it's insane. Yeah. 12, 12 22 in the afternoon in Portland was like apocalypse. It was nuts. Jesus. Like, just <sighs> blowing red. They had all the street lights on. Shit. Probably not. <laughs> Out here, you could probably buy a few pieces, Miguel. Uh, like, Dubai is ridiculously stupid. <laughs> Yeah, the crazy shit is in the street, like north, there's a massive column of white smoke. Like, oh, I thought you were talking about us. Five yeah. feet blocks wide. And, uh, it's still going to come way up into the sky. Lit at the bottom, I don't know what it is, but. Oh. Thank you. Don't go out there, Brian. It's probably a UFO. It's not a UFO Z. You're going to end up with, like. You never know. Park. Yeah. I can't check on my phone because I'm streaming with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you see that shit? Yeah, Colleen that's outside. A movie about Brian. He's been missing that's for five years. Silhouette. <laughs> oh. You can't see. Yeah, and neither do I, and I can't check because I'm on my phone. So. I don't know, like up near Woodbridge? I think it's too far north to be Woodbridge. It's like, like in line with the sky. <coughs> or Newark. Newark. Like this whole gender reveal stuff, it's so crazy. Like the first, the person who invented this gender reveal party thing, that woman has publicly come out and said, "Stop this dumb shit." Yeah, how yeah. bad is that? Please stop. When when was it? When did this become so popular? I don't. Uh, I'd say about five years ago, kind of when it just started catching on and became a thing, and. I just think dumber, like, all, like, and in every culture, it's kind of taking a like, You go like tuner car guys, like car guys, get either like red or blue smoke to do burnouts with yeah. to reveal it, and like obviously there's people in California just like we'll just light half the state on fire to tell the people if it's a boy or girl. Uh, so and do, then, you know, the, do the people do the uh, hold on. um do they know who started the fire then? Yeah. Um, yeah, they know the couple started. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, 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 the one from a handful of years ago was like a fucking off-duty border patrol jerk. Oh yeah, <laughs> man! I saw, I saw. I don't know who put it up, but that uh, 9/11 meme where someone painted the smoke pink, and they were like, "It's girls." <laughs> oh my oh, god! Man. Yeah, that's that's oh too funny. Oh my god! Man. It's terrible, and that's how, like you wrong timing because it's like coming up. It's today, oh, well, in, in a couple hours. Yeah, that's fucked up. Lots so, uh, of Jay Santos asked me a question a hot second ago. Uh, where I am, Jay, I am in. Uh, wow, I totally covered up my screen. My thumb, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm uh, in Lawrence Harbor, so I'm over by uh, South Amboy. The harbor. If you want to know where I am, in Jersey. Amboy, New Jersey. Yeah. He parked the car right down the on the water. I parked the car and I unparked the car. I parked the car. It's right over there. That's you park, park the car in Harvard Yard, and that's Boston. Harvard, yeah. so get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell the difference. What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? It's like Australia and Britain. Oh my difference. god, that is awful. <laughs> no. You're kind of pacing in my mother-in-law's kitchen a little bit. So. Hey, I like it. It reminds me of my mom's kitchen. It's old school. Yeah, it reminds me of my mother-in-law's kitchen because it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad. Shut joke. up, Brian. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Ty, though, man. Remember when you were just like, hey, it's Bob. We had a baby. It's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a boy. True. <laughs> Remember when it only mattered that your family and your friends knew? Yeah. And you told was... them in, in a language that they understood. For real. Yeah, aside from all this gender BS stuff, yo, speaking of that Beirut shit, right? 
You know what was stored in that same warehouse that the 750,000 or yeah, seven, no, 7,500 tons of explosive ammonium nitrate was held? Oh, in Lebanon? They also had, they, well, yeah, but they had in the same warehouse, they had, uh, what was it like? As hydrochloric acid, diesel, oh, and another chemical. They had five miles of detonation cord used, oh, and they had 50. 15 tons of fireworks. Jesus Christ. I know there, was a, there was a fire next in to the it, same building uh, yesterday, I think. What? Yeah, where, where, the, where the, the site of the explosion, like ground zero, there was another a fire in the, in the building next to it. Jesus like, Christ. I don't know your lesson. Like, what is know. going on yeah, over they, there? I think that they, they had an issue too that same day. I read a story early on about that whole thing where they had an issue where they needed some guys to come in and fix the doors. So they brought in an arc welding crew to arc weld a bunch of steel shit on the doors. Jeez. Uh, and then the crew was like, uh, that explosion happened an hour after we were there. It wasn't us. Jesus. I don't know about that. <laughs> bunch of them, yeah, a bunch of stupids. Bunch of dumb bums. Nobody wants any 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 responsibility. Oh, what is that oh, shit? Cookies, uh, chocolate filling. This is his digestives. Oh, <laughs> no, no. no. those are jammy dodges, except the chocolate. They got, jammy they got little hearts on them. Uh, Udahara says, uh, "Z, you're muted, but that is some adorable yeah. shit, man." Ash rain, no good. Yeah, no good. Yeah, ash so, rain so, never good, bro. So the fires are put out. Is that right? Is that what? No. Is that what Uda's saying? No, I doubt it. It's okay. ash rain. No. Yeah. So it's raining, or is it just raining no, ash? No, it's, it's raining ash. Yeah, raining ash. Yeah. Wow. Yo, so um, I've lived through volcanic eruptions and stuff, like oh, back geez. in the Philippines, like because that's part of the Ring of right. Fire. Yeah. And um, right. Yeah, I I I remember the uh the. The whole country was raining ash when um, Pinatubo um, erupted back in, I want to say, 92 or 93. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was raining ash for like six to seven months. Jesus. Yeah. And we would have to like always constantly hydrate the plants outside just because it was covered mm -hmm. in gray ash. It was like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's no fucking case. wild. Yeah, you guys ever cool. read Mistborn? It <laughs> so, sounds familiar. It does sound very familiar. You should read Mistborn or any of that whole series. Actually, I'm on the third book the, of the of the initial series. Z, you're, you're, yeah, but Mistborn, so good. Lots of problems. Red skies, raining ash, brown crops, bad things happen. Shit. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> good things. It's a good story. Yeah, crazy sci-fi sci -fi story, but yeah. It uh, doesn't sound sci-fi no more. Um, for fantasy, well, yeah, no, it's really hitting on the mark now. But mm -hmm. the guy that wrote it, bro, wrote it like ten years, twelve years ago, something like that. So, sure. What was going to happen? He's like, you guys made this flossing <laughs> thing. You guys gonna get it now? Z, Z's over there doing pinups. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't have the. I don't have the deep round candy going on. Yeah, since my stomach's been fucked up, I have no coffee today. No, oh, no. Is it because you is it is the problem because you need coffee? Ah, uh, no, nah, I doubt it. Mom. I think you just need to evacuate your bowels. <laughs> Shut up, Babs. <laughs> what do you think coffee does? Yeah, no, it does. That's what I thought too. I was like, I need to like flush it, but I think the the acidity is gonna fuck with me. I'm not sure though. No more. I don't know. Just... It was you let it all out. There's not. There's nothing to let Yo, out. I tried. Afterwards. I tried to let it all out. That's how I woke up all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was a very good day. <laughs> I did not um, enjoy. It. No, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Go more, right? That's what I thought. I don't know. It might mm -hmm. pain me. It won't pain you. It it might pain pain if, you if you start evacuating uh, water, then that's when you should be a little bit worried. Uh, it's pretty much been water all day, Pabs. Okay, then maybe that sounds like yeah, you need to drink a lot more water. That's what, what I'm you need to do is go pick a fight with a cop and have him use that taser on your butt. Oh my god, that's <laughs> <laughs> not sound good. Chuck it out. <laughs> that does not sound good, man. 
I, I make that gesture several times every live stream, but normally I'm not holding my phone. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I can go for yeah. a cup of coffee right now. I'll tell you that much. Straight up, William. Yeah. I, would, I would, I would attempt it. No sugar, no, no cream. I don't, I don't normally do sugar or cream. Oh, Almond Look milk. Look at this sweetener. No Look sugar. at how bulbous my forehead looks from this angle. <laughs> it's not Meg bulbous, but it's, it's no. bulbous. <laughs> nah, no, no one, no one can challenge Meg. No, no one can challenge Meg, no. dude. She's reigning queen. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> I liked how the, the 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 reflection of the light was bouncing off the forehead, <laughs> creating lens flare. <laughs> it's Michael Bay in this bitch. <laughs> Abrams effect in there. It's like the future. So much flare. <laughs> you tell me, Meg has a bay bay forehead, or I have a bay forehead? No, I'm talking, oh. talking about Meg. <laughs> oh, Meg, of course. She was sitting on the workbench, and she had the light on her and it was just was it with the was it with the, the weird wig that looked like a piece of rubber if you guys uh if you guys wanted to know how to do a gloss coat that's how you do it <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> you know you guys know that the only reason we chide meg like this is because we love both her and freddie that's why we give them so oh, much absolutely. Shit. because they are amazing and awesome people and they can dish it out and take it at the same yeah. time yeah, oh, if they if they didn't dish it out, we wouldn't we wouldn't. Yeah, no, them. no, no. We love these guys, so don't don't mistake our our like you know, Meg's you know three foot forehead and like you know. <laughs> Freddie needs to do the emo hair though. He needs to do the he needs to get the side. He needs to get the side on because yeah. I liked it. I thought it looked good on Freddie. He was good. yeah, he was rocking it. Yeah, that, well, that was Freddie. Freddie Freddy throughout his all his twenties looked like that. Freddie was <laughs> Freddie looked like flock of seagulls. Yeah, <laughs> Look, Julio, you don't need to tell me what what Freddie looked like twenty years ago in his twenties. <laughs> Yo, I need you out there, Miguel, Miguel's comment here. <clears throat> hold up, hold uh, up, Julio, oh, what you need is clean veganism, daily oh, exercise, God. plenty of war, plenty of sleep. And I can't stress this enough. Cocaine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so veganism, there's a lot of carbs in there. But you might be right. Maybe, maybe it's too much meat in my diet. I don't know. It's been uh, farting for a long, good while, man. <laughs> I don't know. And, and Uda is kind of right. Like, don't put your finger in there. But no. When, what they do to babies. You no. Think, you think Vaseline. And you make a hissing sound. <laughs> you gently. You make a hissing sound. You <laughs> make a hissing <laughs> sound. It tricks what is baby. happening? Have you never seen this before? No, fucking pineapples, bro. <laughs> pineapples, dude. You cannot use pineapples to get out of this one. Now we've been talking about his bottle for about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. They do that with babies. They do that all the time when babies are constipated. Uh, but I never heard the hissing sound either. And then one day I did. I was like, wait, you have to kind of just do the whole, like, I don't know what. It's like, <laughs> the, it's like the baby passing gas. What is oh, that? Okay. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> like, S -s -s -s. I was like, what the fuck is it? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Let's see the baby's baseball. It's an exit only. I'm <laughs> oh, uh, sad right now. <laughs> he said, he said it so many times too. <laughs> it just kept coming out. <laughs> it's like a marker. He wiped and he wiped and he wiped. And he wiped. <laughs> Uh, another sharp pain. Let's go. I think I'm just having contractions. If this is what it feels like, to I'm have pretty sure it's worse. But I think I think this. Oh, hold on. Uh, I don't know if if Brian decided to jump out or not. Hold on. Uh, he might there look. it is. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't try to. I didn't decide to. It's because of the. I keep. I keep trying to 
back up and back on my phone boots me from the whole stream instead of like getting me out of the chat. I was going to uh, comment on, on Uda's silly comment. But, uh, the hissing sound is news. Uh, oh, excuse me. Chances are, Julio, Julio, chances are, if you're having the gastro pains like that, like the tight pain, does it feel like someone is pulling barbed wire through your intestines? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, unfortunately, you just kind of got to wait that shit out. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't Listen like what it. The fans, drink, drink, drink some, a little bit of coffee, probably help you out a little bit because it'll kill the headache that you probably already have right now because you drink coffee like me religiously. Yeah. Um and um and then drink yeah plenty of water as well and it'll just it'll work itself out I shit you not you it's like oh, <laughs> why mm-hmm. no I feel you I know perfectly. yeah dude I have gastro issues I've had gastro issues for fuck me a better part of a decade and that or more actually uh diagnosed for a better part of a decade and uh it is just like it is just the way that it goes sometimes it sucks mm. i'll it's be because- sitting there at the workbench working on something all of a sudden i'll just be like why oh then i'm fine now for now i'm like all right now, soon soon enough another one will shall come oh yeah mm-hmm. dude brian exactly Yo, what you're talking about i took two mm-hmm. like hard chugs a Pepto Bismol. <laughs> this will help. <laughs> but it's crazy. Like, there was there was a time, I was in LA once, and after a long day of working at a convention, uh, we all decided to go check out this new rooftop in a, downtown LA, which is supposed to be the spot, right? And we go back to our hotel, change, put on our you know, shower, all that, get to this spot. And I'm like, this, it just happened. I looked at my boys and I was like, hey, I gotta go. Like, they're like, why? I'm like, I, I gotta go use the bathroom. And they're like, dude, there's one here. Like, just go. And I'm no, like, no, no, nah, nah, I'm like, it's not, it's not one of those <laughs> times. Like, I gotta, I gotta go. Nah, so <laughs> like, I'm gonna need another shower after this. There's something inside of me that ain't right right now. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just, my body's telling me no, but my, but my mind's telling me no, but my body, my mind, but my body. Oh, uh, dude, I don't know like, you for real. I'm like, just give me the car keys. I gotta go. 35 to 45 minutes, and I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I think you're right. 35, 45 minutes. Yeah, I was. It's like well, Friday. I love it. <sighs> well, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's that's your stream, Tabby, and not mine. <laughs> She's always regular. <laughs> well, I think uh, that would be a good place to call it a name. <laughs> you cannot end on shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, uh, well, we could end on. We could end on. Um, more positive note, like the uh, upcoming Critic Walls season two, the uh, core Gundam uh, build up that we're uh, build along, we'll say maybe, or how do you want to say it? I don't know. We'll figure that out probably more so in the um, high end of things. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got uh, several competitions coming to head. The Mechatro We Go competition is coming up, right? Pabs, are you doing anything for that? You were interested. I was definitely interested and then realized, oh shit, the deadline's on the 29th of October. I don't know if I have time to do anything. <laughs> If Man. I could have finished the damn thing, Necessity I might have as a mother. I might have a couple of weeks to do something. Yeah, little press you go hard. Yeah, little press you go hard. There we go. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what you can do in a couple of weeks with that. Uh, with that kind of incentive. Ten days. Mm-hmm. Ten days. Give me nine. But um, OMC's coming up too, and October, right, guys? That's another thing that's popping along quite nicely. Right. Yeah. And then in the in the closer future, um, tomorrow. Uh, is a mechanism uh, hosted by one Pabst. Oh, I did not know that. Right, cool. Then I, I'll, I'll definitely do that. I hope this part comes out by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Julio's got a sequoia in there. I got koi uh, fish in there. <laughs> right no, sequoia. You have a know. California redwood on oh, smoldering. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, um, so yes, I am uh hosting mechanism tomorrow. So if you guys cool. want to tune in, 
um, or you know, join you, you guys. So you can hang out, talk some, uh, talk some shop, some more shop, like more of this, and uh, some more, uh, maybe some poop. Uh, no, no poops, please. All right. Do more shop, less shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, pabinism, resinism. Resin. What's it going to be called? I have no idea yet. Um, I haven't actually logged in, logged on to his thing or do anything. He was like, "Yeah, let's just log on to this thing, and, and then we'll figure it out." And I'm like, "Okay, sounds good." And I'm like, "I didn't. I'm like, I've been masking this whole time, <laughs> but um, I will, I will figure all that out. Hopefully, you guys will see it tomorrow. But we will, uh, yeah, I will be on there. We will, we'll, we'll do some stuff. It'll be great. It'll be a good time. So, uh, yeah, with that, I mean, we're we're, we're at that hour. So, uh, got to move. Got to move. Well, he doesn't have it yet. <laughs> Did you send that? <laughs> Penrin's got, got a moon. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, with that, guys, I wish you all good night. Um, you guys can find everybody. I mean, you know where everybody can find everybody. Bowlism. 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 Oh. <laughs> all right. And with that, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. <laughs>